We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the St. Louis Cardinals. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Batting second. The right fielder. Nick. Into the box. Marquez. Nick Markakis. And that misses two and two. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt. In particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. O'Neill will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Stepping in for the Braves, Freddie Freeman. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. A bouncer up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Long for one. On to Goldschmidt and it's in time. A double play and the side is retired. Digging in, Colton Wong. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Acuna's there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The next to bat for St. Louis, Tommy Edmond. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate, to say the least. The 1-1 home. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Count still at one and two. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Flowers corrals it, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul Goldschmidt, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one two. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. The wall he leaps and makes a spectacular catch and with it that'll end the inning and here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday and he lays off a pitch down and away ball two. Sliced hard on the ground. Taken in by Wong. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Here's Marcelo Zuna. No score here as we play inning number two. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. All even now, two and two. Too high. Ball three. Tyler Flowers will be next. Heading out towards shallow right. Long run for the right fielder. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Bounce towards the second baseman. He's right there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So now 
now it'll be the four hole hitter Matt Carpenter he'll get to take his first cuts here the three two pitch line down the left field line but this is going to get foul payoff pitch one more time fouled away another full count pitch home and he takes ball four leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second Yanni Molina digging in now it was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss and oh he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside and it's strike two Fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Riley is under it, and he's got it for the first down. Into the box now, Tyler O'Neill, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Oh, yeah. Liner toward right center. And that will be the first base hit of the ball game for the Cardinals. At the plate now, Lane Thomas. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to 3-1 and one now. It's up to a 3-2 full count now. Ready with the payoff pitch. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Digging in, Harrison Bader. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's one for two. The set and the 3-1 pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Ozuna is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Standing in, Charlie Culberson. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Hard hit ball to short. He's got it. Close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. At the plate, Austin Riley, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Inside, he misses ball four. The next to bat for Atlanta, Max Freed. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. The batter number one, second so now to the plate, Ozzy Albies. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Skied in the air to straightaway left. O'Neill is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Two men on, two out, and standing in the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. Payoff pitch on its way. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And the run will score as the Braves strike first, deleted 1-0. At the plate, Freddie Freeman. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand.
So in now is the Cardinals pitcher, Miles Michaelis, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1. One, one. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Now the pitch. Fouled off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. So one gone here in the St. Louis third. And that'll bring up Colton Wong. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Digging in to try it again. Tommy Edmond, who looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Hit on the ground is short. Scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Acuna digs in now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Slow roller out to short. Gonna be a tough play. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. One one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's the second out. Digging in now, Tyler Flowers. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. A one one. He's taken for strike two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the... And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, Matty, and off the bat, he had to think he had extended his hitting streak. Luckily, he has another chance to keep it going right here. The count now at two and two. Here it comes. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. One man gone for the Cardinals in the fourth. And that'll bring up the sweet swinging Matt Carpenter. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Count remains full. He loses him on ball four. So a runner at first with one man gone. And here now is the catcher, Yadier Molina. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four. Three on a nice dig at first, and the inning is over.
ready to go in the top of the fifth. Digging in, Charlie Culberson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. The batter. Ready for another chance? Austin Riley. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Look into Molina. Now the 1 1. Skied into straightaway right. Bader will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. The pitcher, Max Freed, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. One and one, here it comes. And a bunt attempt misses, so he's behind now one and two. That's not great form right there, but you can't be surprised. A lot of these guys were not asked to bunt coming up through the minor leagues, so don't expect every sack bunt to get down. So up steps Ozzie Albies. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get fouled. The one two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Full count now three and two. Well this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And he fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Ani pops it up. Carpenter has room in foul territory, and that retires the side. Striding into the box, Tyler O'Neill as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats a foul ball. Lifted in the air to center field. Acuna's there for it. One away. Riding in once again, Lane Thomas looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. On its way is pitch number 75. And it's fouled away. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit on the ground to third. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. And the 2-1. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Nick Markakis digging in now. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. A 1 1. Down the third baseline. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The one two gets him swinging. He struck him out. So a runner at first now with one away. And that will bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr.
Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up big-time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two now away. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. A couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The battle, number eight. And now a crucial spot. Base is loaded. Two men gone. And that'll bring in the Georgia native, Charlie Culberson. Popped him up. Carpenter in foul ground. Into the stands. He got it. Luke Jackson enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 77. Jairo Munoz is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Leadoff man retired for the second baseman, Colton Wong. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. Throw gets him. Two down. Now at the plate, Tommy Edmond. He was a ground out victim last time up. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Fouled away. And another foul ball. Now another 1-2. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Full count, three and two. And this one's taken for ball four. So good work there as the Redbirds have got a two-out base runner. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up the big bat of Paul Goldschmidt. The one-two. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. We all know he's a really good hitter, and this is probably a good example why. He fell behind 0-2, but knowing they're probably going to try to get him a, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. John Gant is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Austin Riley. He flew out in his last at bat. A ball and two strikes now. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Shot to third and handled for the first out. Ender Inciarte will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. For Atlanta, number 11, Ender Inciarte. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. On to first, and there were two down. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ozzy Albies. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And that misses two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounded back up the middle. Reined in. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. Now batting the right fielder, 
to the plate now. Nick Markakis. Runner goes for second. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. So the call's gone out for the right-hander, Mark Melanson, as he'll take over on the mound. Striding in, Matt Carpenter. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Two and two the count. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. I mean, Yachty, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive player. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Pitch on the way. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Flowers has it. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Into the box now. Tyler O'Neill. His line includes a single and a fly ball, and two at bats thus far. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Two balls and a strike to Freeman. Taken high and deep to right. Right fielder looking up, still ranging back. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. Ryan Helsley is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 56, Ryan Helsley. In now, Ronald Acuna. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bader is there to put it away for route number one. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. The 3 1. Ozuna swings and it's hit well to left. Ranging back is O'Neill, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now back. Into the box, Tyler Flowers. And he misses two and one. I got two one to count. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now In now, Austin Riley. Over Austin. two with a walk for him so far. Now the 2 1. Is strike two swinging. Two. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. And Goldschmidt will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Darren O'Day will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Adam Duvall will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Now playing third base, Dan Batty 
number 23, Adam Duvall. Swing and a soft liner. And this is going to get on through in the center, a leadoff hit. At the plate now, Harrison Bader. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Thomas aboard here at first with nobody out. Just hung in there on that one. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Paul DeYoung will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. One and two. De Young. It's a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Even count two balls and two strikes. Here now the two two. Fouled off. Toward second. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Colton Wong. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now the 2 1 pitch. My, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? That one is out of here. This game is tied. So now to the plate, Tommy Edmond lays off two and two now. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. John Brebbia will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Adam Duvall. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Hit in the air out to right. Bader is there, and he has it for the out. Coming to the plate now, Ozzie Albies. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Bases are empty, one man out. in the air out to center field. Thomas is there. Two gone. Ready for another shot now. Nick Markakis is working on a one for three thus far. From the windup, the 1-1. One -one. Grounded to first. Taken in by Goldschmidt. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. Shane Green enters to do the pitching, and best-case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. 
Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. One and two now. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Count even at two and two. And a full count to Paul Goldschmidt. Three balls and two strikes. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Now batting, Matt Carpenter. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 home. Misses, ball two. Hit down the line at first. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. in the air down the line in left and this will wind up a foul ball the 2 2 one more time and he fouls this one off the 2 2 one more time down the left field line in deep and that will end up a foul ball Another 2-2 offering. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Right side hit hard. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. So coming to the plate, Yadier Molina. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now back, Tyler. Into the box now. Tyler O'Neill. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. This is skied into short left center. Ozuna is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Digging in and looking for more, Freddie Freeman he comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. And that last at-bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball, so I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter, so I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now in the box, Ronald Acuna, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Here's the 1-1. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. in the air down the right field line and foul and a swing and a miss so a perfect start to the 10th here two up and two down and that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna 1-1 count the pitch one and two This one's down to third. Taken in by Carpenter. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Chris Martin comes on to start the home tenth, and he's just hoping to get this one into the eleventh inning. Ready for the bottom of the tenth here at the plate. Lane Thomas. He singled his last time up. Still even at two and two. Swing 
and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Into the box, Harrison Bader, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The 1-1. One, one. one out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Dexter Fowler will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Fowler behind a ball and two strikes. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Genesis Cabrera takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Now picking for the Cardinals. Number 92. 11th inning set to get underway, so digging in now, Tyler Flowers. It was a walk in his last trip. A ball and two strikes, the count to Tyler Flowers. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Stepping into the box, Charlie Culberson. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Pulls this one in the air out to left. O'Neill waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Travis Darno will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 15, Travis Darno. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Thomas will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Will Smith comes on now and he's just hoping to keep this thing tied. No save opportunity here. So the lineup flips over and digging in Colton Wong. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. And he certainly got a chance to end this one right here with another home run. Going to be interested to see the style, how he plays this one. Does he come out of his shoes, or does he get back to staying within himself? The 3-2 one more time. And the winning run will reach. It's a leadoff walk to start the home half here in extra innings. Now with the play, Tommy Edmond. The winning run is at first base. Now a bunt attempt here. And that's the first down. So striding forward now, now, Paul Goldschmidt. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. And the indication from the dugout comes. It looks like they're going to put him on intentionally. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one away. Now the 2-1. This is pulled into right. Markakis is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. So digging in with a chance to win it here, Yadier Molina, as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Hard hit ball to short. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Now at 
the plate, Adam Duvall, as he's set to go to lead off the top half. The one two. <laughs> Hit out towards second. Oh, and this goes right past him. The batter number one, second base, To the plate now, Ozzie Albies. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here's the 2-2 pitch. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Hit to third. Wong for one. Relay to Goldie, and that gets him as well. A double play. So the base is empty now after the double play. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Nick Markakis. Two and two. Two out, nobody on. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. And he strikes him out here for route number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Coming to the plate now, Tyler O'Neill. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the 2-1. Little chopper back to the mound. And there's one away. Stepping up to the plate, Lane Thomas. He went down on strikes last time up. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. On one -one. the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. Bader. The set and the 2-1. Fouled away. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Thirteenth inning ready to begin. Settling in now, Freddie Freeman. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. Hit the target, but this is low. Two and one. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Bader is there, one away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball and he'll stick around. The 2-2 one more time. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Ready once again, Marcelo Zuna, who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. 
This is flared out towards second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Sean Newcomb enters the game now as he'll get the responsibility of trying to send this one to a 14th inning. Brad Miller will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Full count, three and two. You can pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. How about it? And now back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, Colton Wong. He's one for four for the game. Got it back in time there, and it's two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Culberson, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Digging in the switch hitter, Tommy Edman. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Now the 2 1. Popped him up. Freeman is there. Two down. Stepping up now, Paul Goldschmidt. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Now the 2 1. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. Hit down the third baseline. Ready with another two-strike offering. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Ready with the payoff pitch. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. The third base for number 15. At the plate, Matt Carpenter hit out towards second. Roll on to first is going to be in time, and that means 13 innings won't even settle this one as that ends the inning. Jordan Hicks is going to finally make an appearance in this one as he'll take over in the 14th inning. Stepping in, Tyler Flowers. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Full count now, three and two. Looked like he swung at ball four right there. Clearly, he saw something in that pitch that he liked out of the pitcher's hand, but that wasn't a pitch he was going to do a whole lot with. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Two and one. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Offers it that one a little late, and it's two and two now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to first, and they get the double play. Adani Echevarria will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. The bases are empty here with two men out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Tough 
pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. A.J. Minter, a lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Number 33. Digging in once again, Yadier Molina, and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. The 1-1. One, one. There's no one outside for a ball. Couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. The 2 2. Popped him up. Culberson is under it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So striding in, Tyler O'Neill. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. A ball and two strikes now. The one two is taken for ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. He stays alive, still two and two. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Here's another 2 2. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. Two gone. Now with the plate, the Lane field. Thomas. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Here's the payoff pitch. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. New inning set to get underway. Stepping into the box, Adam Duvall. He's one for two in this one. Fouled off. One-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Sliced hard on the ground. And there's the first out to start the 15. Ready now, Ozzy Albies. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Lifted in the air to center. Thomas is there now, and he has it. Two gone. At the plate, Nick Markakis. He went down on strikes last time up. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. 
Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases, and there's your potential go-ahead run. And your go-ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two-out double. The first base number five, Freddie Freeman. Standing in now, Freddie Freeman can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here's the one and two. And he fouls this one off. Hard sinker misses two and two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And it's fouled away. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's throwing a bunch of pitches. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Stepping in, Harrison Bader. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Skied into straightaway right. And therefore, it is Markakis, and that's your first out. Matt Leaders will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 32, Matt Weaver. Chopper foul. Ready with the one and two. One out, nobody on. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. On to first, and Weeters is set down now, two away. Colton Wong will stand in. The 1-1. One, one. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Swing and a little blooper to center. Acuna coming in, but it's down as that drops in for a two-out single. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. Now that is stop. Tommy. At the plate now, Edmund. Tommy Edmund. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. One and two. Here it is. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Marcakis has a read on it, and that retires the side. Andrew Miller has waited a long time, but he'll come on to work in the 16th inning. And now the Atlanta number four hitter, Ronald Acuna, trying to put it all behind him and break through right here. He's a paltry 0 for 6 thus far. A little early, and now it's even at 2 and 2. Here it comes. Fouled away. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back him off the plate by throwing one inside. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. So stepping in, Marcelo Zuna. Go-ahead run at first. Nobody out. Now the 2-1. There he goes. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Three one is a fastball, and he can't connect three and two. 
he was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. And that is through into left field, a base hit onto the third baseman, but it's off the mark. Now back, Pepper, Tyler. In now, Tyler Flowers. Swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go-ahead run in. The catch is made. Here comes the go-ahead run for the plate. He's safe at the plate. And deep into extra innings, they have taken the lead. Standing in, Charlie Culberson. Attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. The 1-1 pitch. Runners on first with one down. Sent out to straightaway center field. Thomas is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And this throw gets away from him. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. So in now is the Atlanta pitcher, A.J. Minter. And with absolutely no bullpen arms left, this is going to be their guy until the game is over or until they decide to roll some position players out there on the mound. Obviously, this is never a position you want to find yourself in as a manager, Matt, but it does happen from time to time, and maybe I should start getting that old shoulder loosened up. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3-2 and two now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of... Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Now to the plate, Paul Goldschmidt. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. The 1-1. One -one. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Oh, and he got a pitch to handle as this ball is hit high in the air and deep. And, folks, this ball game is tied. Well, this is something you don't see every day. It had the distance the second it left the bat. But it was anybody's guess whether it was going to be fair or foul. That is, until it clanked off the top of the foul pole. No question or controversy now. That's an impressive homer. Stepping in now, Matt Carpenter fouled off. Base is empty here with nobody out. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he fouls this one off. The one and two pitch. The bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Well, well, next to bat for St. Louis. Yadier Molina. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And this pitch misses for a ball. Two and one now to Molina. Swing and a ground ball to third. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for out number two. Digging in, Tyler O'Neill. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Drilled to the right side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Now that, the 
Into the box, Lane Thomas. High chopper towards first. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in for the Braves, Adam Duvall. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1-2. Skied into straightaway right. Bader is there to put it away for route number one. Into the box now, Ozzie Albies. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground out to short. The throw will be in time at first, and Miller's got it rolling here, two away. Digging in, Nick Markakis. Two hits in six tries for him thus far. That's popped up. Now towards short right field. Wong has a play. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Standing in, Harrison Bader. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The one-two is fastball taken high for a ball. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location, and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. So it was a strikeout swing at Harrison Bader. Goes down again. That's the fifth time he's done so on strikes in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. Last time through was a base hit. The three and one pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. And at first after the two out walk. Hit in the air down the right field line. Markakis is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball ahead. At the plate, Freddie Freeman. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 2 1 home. Ball three. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, as he crashes headlong into the wall. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ronald Acuna, trying to put it all behind him and break through right here. He's at ball three, 0 for 6 thus far. One ball and two strikes to count. To two balls and two strikes now. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential yeah, go-ahead run is on so base here. Marcel Ozuna. The one-and-one one pitch. Oh, that's out. 
for the delivery. A check on that go-ahead run at first. And he'll dive back in safely. He's going. Runners off for second. Pitch inside the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Now the three and two pitch down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Ready with another two strike offering. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a reach with the backhand, but he comes up empty as that gets by him. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still only one away. Giovanni Gallegos enters from the pen now as they've saved their closer until this deep into extra innings. To the plate now, Tyler Flowers. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Hit hard back up the middle. Wong is there. The second for one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Paul Goldschmidt. Two hits and six tries for him thus far. Yeah, now that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B., but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Paul Goldschmidt takes his fourth strikeout of the game. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. And as this game drags on, we approach midnight here in the central time zone. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Digging in now, Yadier Molina. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air to center field. Acuna's there for it. And that retires the side. The next to bat for Atlanta, Charlie Culberson. And he'll be the one to begin the inning. Looks like a tall order trying to tie or take the lead against this guy who leads the league in saves. The 1-1 one, one home is a low changeup that's laid off. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bader has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Now to the plate, the pitcher, A.J. Minter. A.J. Minter. Fly ball into straightaway left. O'Neill is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Now Digging that. in to try it again, Adam Duvall. Adam. He comes into this appearance Duvall. in the midst of a one for four day. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Thomas to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Ready for another chance? Tyler O'Neill. And he'll lead things off as they'll try to walk off winners in the bottom half. The 2 2 pitch. Driven nicely into the gap. 
around first digging for two and just like that the winning run is into second base with a lead off double the center fielder number 25 Ray Thomas. so now to the plate Lane Thomas hit hard to the right side and that's by him into right field for a base hit Bo will come into the infield and the winning run will stop 90 feet away from home with nobody out at the plate Harrison Bader and there's ball two now hey the bullpen needs to step up in this situation I gotta believe the manager was hoping for way more than this swing and a miss strike two the offensive approach here is simple you know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed rhythm. Now the three and two pitch. Now a fly ball, but far too shallow to get that run in. Acuna has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. So here now is the pitcher, Giovanni Gallegos, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pinky held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. Three and two, full count. And it's fouled away. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here. One away. Fouled away. Ready with another two strike offering. And he will take strike three called. And as big an out as you can ask for there as the winning run stays at third with two away now. The 1-1. One -one. Hit back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And at long last, the winning run is across to score. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion, and that's exactly what happened. A walk-off for the win? Wow. Not a lot of runs put on the board in this one, but here's a guy that found a way to make a difference. He's the top player of the game. Yeah, he delivered when it mattered most with the walk-off base hit, so better get his recognition. I just hope his guys didn't pummel him too hard when they went out there celebrating on the field. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Giovanni Gallegos claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, four runs on 11 hits. No errors, they left 12 men on base. For Atlanta, three runs on 10 hits. No errors, they left 14 men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.